Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Snickle and today I'm bringing you a very different video now today. I'm bringing you all something that you ain't seen on my channel before now. Today, we're going to be playing some Retro Bowl. Not just any playthrough of Retro Bowl because you see, I am a miserable Packers fan. This year was supposed to be our year and we lost to Jimmy G. Again, after we lost to Jimmy G two years ago, and in between that, we lost to old man Tom Brady. <sighs> Things have just not been good for us. So, me, I, Wire and Monte, the man, the myth, the legend, I am going to be getting on Retro Bowl and saving my squad. Welcome to Retro Bowl. You are about to start your first season as the head coach of a pro football team. The path to success is an arduous one. But if you believe in yourself, you can inspire your team, then glory your ways. First, I have to put in my name, and I already have a name selected. I'm gonna go with Chatter Bob. Perfect. And my favorite team is gonna be the Green Bay Packers, of course. Even though we lost this year, Matt LaFleur is still a record-breaking head coach. So I don't think the Green Bay Packers are just gonna wake up one day and you say, you know what, we like cheese. We're gonna get Cheddar Bob and he's gonna be our head coach. So we're gonna see who they're gonna put us as the head coach of. Hopefully it's not a division rival because I will throw up in my mouth. With just one week left in the regular season, Houston who? have appointed Cheddar Bob as their new head coach. Oh my God, I'm the Houston Texans. Fuck! Bob has worked at the college level for several years and was excelling as the head coach of Syracuse before taking the reins at Houston. So I started off with the Syracuse Orange, was kicking ass in NCAA, and said, you know what? I'm gonna come be the coach of the Houston Texans. It doesn't matter what Deshaun Watson is doing in the massage room. Nope. Okay, it doesn't matter if JJ Watt wants to play here. Okay, you wanna know why? I don't know. I, I don't even really wanna be here either. I kinda just wanna head coach the Packers. Let's see what we're working with here. I don't need no tutorial. I'm a pro. Right now, we're under the Jacksonville Jaguars with Trevor Lawrence. They are seven and nine. Indianapolis is nine and seven, and Tennessee is 10 and six. That's not good. Our facilities are poo poo. Todd Mack is our offensive coordinator. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think he's gonna get the job done. Marion Akers, is that a woman? Oh my God, we definitely lost. Just, I'm just playing, bro. I'm just playing. Let's check out the boys. First, we have our quarterback, Maliak Davis, probably Malik, but I think Maliak sounds cooler. He's 25 years old on a two-year, $10 million contract. He's feeling pretty good right now. Running back, Leonard Carmen, probably one of the worst starting running backs I've ever seen. I don't even know if I want him to play today. So our wide receiver, Nidare Fort, he actually has a little bit of giddy up on him. Look at his speed. And his hands are not bad either. Uh, well, right now they're pretty shit. Leon Solder, Try. our defensive lineman, not the best. Lee Worley, pretty decent kick range. His accuracy is poop. Yeah, our team is trash. One thing I want to do is turn on the 12-man rosters. And I want to put the difficulty. Now listen, this is not going to be... I'm putting the difficulty up to extreme. What extreme mode does is it basically makes every team the same kind of but it's just as hard as possible. So I might move it down to hard if you guys like more so like some weeks we'll play like a good opponent, some weeks we'll play like a shitty opponent and be able to stack numbers, you know what I mean? And you can't really do that on extreme mode, so I don't know. Let's get it, let's go, let's just hop in the game. No further ado. So we will elect to receive, Indianapolis kicks the ball off, good return. Now let's see what we have set up here, NF, I don't know if I trust him to beat that DB, but speed is his thing, and this is a pretty speed heavy route, so let's see if we can go ahead and make something happen. 16 yard gain for my boy here. I don't know his name, honestly. My running back, pitiful one yard. Second and nine. I'm gonna look for my wide receiver over the middle. He's gonna have it, and he's gonna have a little more and get us that first down. Let's go, baby. outside five yard gain for my running back my running back i was talking trash about him but a five yard gain is a five yard gain you know what i mean i will take that any day we're gonna go to him one more time i like to go on them uh out of the backfield passes i feel like it's really easy games uh especially in this game but in 
real life too. In real life too. Probably look for my receiver here. And he's gonna catch that. Mega Man miss. Try to get to the outside, but is crammed by like three, four, five defenders. And I know that has to hurt. He gonna be using ice packs tonight. And he gets him a touchdown in Fort. In for the touchdown. Pass by somebody. I don't know these guys. You don't know these guys. Stop playing with me. <laughs> So I have I'm Davis and I have in Fort, and that's gonna be the connection here. That is my Rogers to Devontae Adams. And L Carmen is gonna take that two-point conversion. And we push that lead up to eight. What does Indianapolis have in store for us here? Our defense is just not able to stop them at all. Going into the end of the first quarter, it looks like Indiana is gonna be in the perfect position to score. They're on the 11. It's a passing play. It's a touchdown. Indianapolis scores, and they attempt to tie the game but get stopped. And we are up by two. Let's see what we can do with our running back here. And he gets stopped in the backfield for a one-yard loss. That is not fun. So we got to scheme something up here. We can't. We can't do any type of audible. We're going to pass my running back. I do not want to punt. So we're going to take a shot. And he has some beat. And he catches the ball. 17-yard game for in Fort. All right, the thing that's getting me is, like, I only have one target. And he's being doubled just about every play. So, like, I kind of want to get the run game going, but my running back is not good. All right, we're going to have to take a shot here and just open Bray. To the outside, 15-yard gain. In Fort is so reliable. Another catch by the running back. 10-yard gain, but not enough for the first down. There's just no speed on that running back. <laughs> There's just not a lick. Oh, oh, no! No, just as I say he's reliable, in Fort catches the pass and fumbles, or at least I think it was him. It might have been one of my unnamed characters. I don't know, but damn. Indianapolis gets the ball. They throw it over the middle. Indianapolis now has it on the 19. They keep it on the ground, and Solder was too slow to stop this touchdown, and Indianapolis takes the lead in this third quarter. This curl route, I love these curl routes. Should be an easy game, and he does not catch that. God damn it. Okay, running back. We need some. Come on, cut in, cut in, dive. That's a pretty good game by my running back. It's gonna be easy. Thank you. Nice hit by the Indianapolis Colts defender. Catch that. Ah. I ran over right here. Ah. Come on, first! Yes! One more time. Good block. First down. Let's go, baby. Okay, so NF is gonna have a nice, clean go. Let's go. 19 yard gain there for my boy in Fort NF, as we like to call him out here in Houston. Even though I don't think we're even in Houston, I think we are currently in Indiana. Houston has it on the 11, two minutes left in the game. I kind of want to score fast here because I know that they're going to score. So I'm going to need time to go ahead and win this game. My tight end is going to be wide open. We're going to take it. Thank you very, very much. One or two points. It doesn't really matter right here. So I think we're going to go for the kick. L. Worley makes his first kick of the season. He's one for one. And Indianapolis now has the ball. They throw the ball. They now have it up in the midfield. Passing play takes them down to the 20. Passing play. Touchdown. They leave 43 seconds on the clock. It's down to 38 after the return. And we're going to need big gains. We're going to need to get out of bounds. And we're going to need to do it fast. Oh, why did I do that? He had more time to run. And then we're just gonna take that. Get out, get out. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna take this and get out. Pussy. Oh, whoo. Okay. I don't think we're gonna win this. 18 seconds, y'all. We just have nobody that can really get us a huge gain that we need. As time ticks down here, unless NF scores on this play, we probably are out of luck. Two seconds left. Huge, huge, 
huge play there by Infort to get out of bounds with two seconds left on that pass. I didn't know if I should go for big, maybe try to get in the end zone on that play, but they are now on their own 13 yard line. One more play for the game to salvage the season, maybe give the fans a little bit of hope for the next season. And here we are, M. Davis is gonna drop back, look for N4 here, to go for it and oh my god in Ford is stopped before he's able to get in the end zone and your Houston Texans are two yards short of winning the last game of the season but Indianapolis was able to close it out today I'm putting the loss on the team the team was shitty the team is poop they just literally don't have talent so I'm not gonna lose my coaching credits because these guys suck sorry a little bit of a post-game recap. Our quarterback, Malik Davis, came out and dropped 238 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Basically gave you everything you could expect from a trash quarterback. Our defense just didn't hold up enough for us to make something happen there. And also that fumble that we had really, really, really hurt our chances of winning that game. We have L. Carmen, the running back that I was talking shit about. He actually had 62 yards. So I would say that he had better than a four rating game. I would give that about a five or a six. In Fort had a nine game. He had a touchdown, 182 yards, our only receiver. So obviously he's gonna get a lot of touches. L. Solder. L is right. He had no tackles, no interceptions, no forced fumbles, no sacks, and he just should not have been on the field, honestly. We should have cut him before the game. L Worley made his one and only kick. I wish we could have gotten him into a position where we could have won this game off a of field goal, but that just didn't really happen for us. Cheddar Bob's first game in charge of Houston ended in defeat against Indianapolis. Bob will be left in no doubt about how much work there is to do to turn this team's fortunes around and you are right about that retro bowl you are right about that i think i'm going to finish up this episode by going ahead and going through the playoffs and seeing who does go ahead and win here so super wild card weekend we have kansas city going up against the pittsburgh steelers and pittsburgh shocks kansas and wins 38 to 20 Big Ben, in his last game of his career, is what they were calling it, sends him Mahomes. <laughs> Miami Dolphins and Tua Tunga Valova. Tua Tunga, Tunga Lova, Tunga, Tung. Are going up against Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. My money's on Joe. Hey, I, I, I didn't see Joe do some crazy shit. And Joe goes ahead and takes clean work of these Miami Dolphins. Drops them off 32 to seven to send his team into the next round of these playoffs. Next we have the Tennessee Titans and Derrick Henry. The King himself is gonna be going up against the Cleveland Browns and Baker Mayfield. The King makes easy work of Baker Mayfield. San Francisco beats Minnesota, bye bye Vikings. Dallas versus Washington. Washington shocks Dallas and they lose in the first round again. I guess I can't really talk. My team was won and done. Tampa Bay going against the Los Angeles Rams. This game actually happens the day I'm recording this. So you guys tell me who won. Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers make easy work of the star studded Rams. I mean, these guys have Von Miller, Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, Odell Beckham Jr., Matthew Stafford. Let's not act like Matthew Stafford's that guy yet. Tennessee is going to be taking on the high-seeded, had a bye, Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens, and they do not disappoint. Joe Burrow going up against Big Ben, and he sends Big Ben home for his career. Second year, Joe Burrow makes it to the AFC Championship game again. It's not a fluke. He's really that guy. San Francisco going up against the Green Bay Packers here. And they are gonna try to repeat history. Please. I can't take more of this. Packers, please. Let's go! <laughs> Why couldn't this happen in real life? So we're gonna see who are we gonna be taking on in the NFC Championship game. 
either Tom Brady or Taylor Heineke. And Tom Brady takes care of Taylor Heineke once again. And it is a repeat of last year in the NFC Championship game. Joe Burrow and his Cincinnati Bengals only have to beat Lamar Jackson in the Ravens and he's in the Retro Bowl in his second year and he does it Joe Burrow drops 51 points on the Ravens 51 Joe chill somebody cool Joe off he is somewhere in a locker room with a cigar going nuts as we speak Tampa Bay goes ahead and dispatches the Green Bay Packers like I thought. That's exactly what happens every time you give this team a little bit of hope. So Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to be going up against Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals, the proven champions, the seven-time Super Bowl champion trying to become a one-time Retro Bowl champion. National champion Joe Burrow who's trying to basically make history and win a Super Bowl in his first year. And we are going to see Cincinnati win the Retro Bowl. What the hell, Joe? Joe Burrow. And that is a crazy way to end this episode. Wow. If you thought that was going to happen, leave a comment in the description this video was full of drama we had a game that went all the way down to the line the nfl playoffs played out crazily we got to see tom brady versus aaron Rodgers again we got to see joe burrow and his young squad run through the nfl and basically say hey this league is ours if you're excited to see what we can do with our team in the next season and potentially prove ourselves to be the next coach of the Green Bay Packers. Leave a like down below. And if you did like this video, like, that'd be great, subscribe. That'd be great, share, that'd be great. And I'm out. Do it.